got about a uh, two hour drive uh, tonight to some uh, clear skies and uh, tonight's target is going to be the uh, Orion uh, Nebula wide field, the constellation I should say. Uh, but this, uh, this trip is uh, a little bit different to others. Uh, I'm going to be uh, setting up on uh, Maid's uh, property. Now we've been uh, imaging uh, deep space together uh, for quite a while. However, he's decided to, uh, instead of um, being a mobile astrophotographer as such, carrying your mounts around everywhere, uh, he decided to build his own little observatory instead and have the, uh, the convenience of not having to really travel anywhere. Lucky enough for him, he's got some dark skies and he's, uh, the property to be able to do it. So I'm a little bit jealous in, in uh, that respect, but uh, in uh, many others, he's an absolute top bloke and uh, I can't wait to show you guys his, uh, his little setup. So yeah, I must uh, I must keep driving, but um, I'll chat to you guys soon. got a really really nice um, it's a really really nice night uh, tonight nice and clear not too cold and um, uh, just about ready to uh, start my polar alignment and image tonight so uh, yeah we have got Trevor over there in his uh, little observatory keeping nice and uh, nice and warm and, uh, and I'm out here in a little bit of the cold but it's, uh, it's not too bad it's a really nice night so far so uh, yeah see what uh, happens with tonight all I'm doing right now is I'm just aligning the star up in the uh, in the center of my screen here. And once I've done that, I'm going to hit a line, and then it's going to search for the uh, the next star. And I'm going to do this for about three or four stars, so uh, it can take a little while. And I still don't know where um, all the stars are, so uh, it's a bit of a learning curve at times. Now it's asking me for uh, some calibration stars. And I try to pick some of the brightest stars that I can see um, from my own eyes, especially using a wide angle lens. It makes things a bit easier with the alignments. And lucky enough, the tent um, isn't in the way. Yeah, very time consuming uh, process this, but you want to make sure you get it all right. And with each uh, calibration of stars, they get closer and closer to just going straight into the center of the screen. So I'm up to uh, my third uh, star now. And generally I only add uh, three calibration stars. I don't usually go for a fourth calibration star. So now that that's done, I'm gonna uh, polar align my, uh, my mount. And I'm gonna head up to uh, um, Canopus. And I'm gonna polar align using uh, that star. 
The great thing with the uh, Celestial mounts is that they've got polar alignment software built into them and, uh, and that's one of the things I absolutely love. Alright, so now I'm back on Canopus here. I'm just going to uh, select the polar line and then align mount and it's going to slew to uh, Canopus and it's going to ask me to uh, just make sure it's uh, in the middle of my uh, my camera screen here again so I'm just going to uh, just get in the middle Okay. And now it's going to slow away from Canopus and then back again. And this time I'm going to be using the um, the mount itself to get the, um, the star back into the uh, middle of the frame. But, uh, that should just about do it, I think. Yeah, and I've pretty much got zeros across the board for uh, for my alignment. So um, I'm just about ready to uh, start imaging. getting quite late now and uh, I thought I'd give a bit of a report on how um, the images are, are turning out. Uh, I did have a few issues um, earlier on in the night where I uh, forgot to um, readjust my exposure lengths so uh, for a while I was shooting at 30 second exposures instead of 300 second exposures um, but luckily I, I picked up on that so I didn't waste too much of the night with that. Uh, the uh, the 85 millimeter 1.8G lens. Um, this is my second outing with it, and I must say it is incredibly sharp from corner uh, to corner. Um, I'm quite amazed actually on how good it is. I'm shooting at f 2.2, and the stars in the corners are just pinpoint. Um, yeah, you normally don't get a lot of lenses, um, you know, shooting around that sort of aperture um, to be pinpoint stars across the whole frame. Um, so hats off to the 85mm f1.8 G there, it's uh, extremely good except for when shooting at f1.8 there is a fair bit of chromatic aberration. Um, so hence the uh, f2.2. Uh, I'm also shooting at an ISO of uh, 1600 and as I said uh, 300 second um, exposure times. I've uh, so far captured about two hours worth there. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been a it's been a um, entertaining sort of night. Um, just moments before, we had some kangaroos uh, jumping along um, behind me. So uh, yeah, I've uh, had some visitors pretty close by. Um, we haven't been able to go in there and, and see Trev's uh, uh, setup um, tonight because he's been working a, a fair bit on um, calibrating and um, setting up his. Uh, um, 10 inch uh, Newtonian so um, didn't want to get in the way of all that sort of stuff there uh, so maybe tomorrow we might be able to have a bit of a, uh, a peek in there um, before I uh, pack up and start heading back home uh, the um, time-lapse photography that being a little bit new to me um, I did kind of stuff it up a little bit so uh, we'll see we'll see how that um, turns out uh, once I've uh, processed it all, but um, I don't think it's going to really turn out as good as what I hoped it would be. Uh, but uh, I've been shooting a lot more Astro than what I have time lapse, so um, it's a bit of a learning curve for me. And I uh, hope these guys uh, uh, can bear, bear with it for now. Um, and yeah, so uh, with all that being said, I think I'm going to uh, continue shooting, climb up into the tent, and uh, and call it a night as such. Uh, if you've enjoyed this uh, video, like always guys, um, leave a comment, give me a old thumbs up, and if you uh, want to see more of this sort of content, then uh, please um, subscribe and 
follow uh, follow my channel. Um, plenty of other uh, you know astro um, objects to, to photograph uh, throughout the year um, using all different uh, focal length lenses. So yeah, we're gonna have some fun with that. All right, guys. Well, I'm gonna uh, like I said, jump back up into the tent there and uh, and get some shut eye. So uh, until next time, take it easy. See ya. Mm -hmm.